Hey guys, Tiny here. So right now that Beauty and the Beast is out in movie theaters, everybody's going through like this DIY Beauty and the Beast bell phase. And today we're going to be making our very own Enchanted Rose. So for this project, you will need. Okay, so as you guys can see, this is actually most materials that I got from another project. Um, this came in a pack of two and these are pretty much used up. But if you don't have the materials in hand, you can get most of these at the dollar store and this whole project would be $5 plus the paint. Now the paint can be pricey. I had it from another thing that I had done before, but you can always go with metallic acrylic paint, which is also about a dollar. So the whole project will be less than $10. Now the first thing that we're going to do is paint our styrofoams. I kind of eyeballed it and saw what I wanted um, the size to be and this is actually perfect and this should fit perfectly as well. So let's paint this in gold. Alright guys, so we painted our styrofoam gold and now we're going to cut our glass container bell jar thingy. We're going to just take this part off and then we're going to remove the plastic. I got this brand specifically because it has a nice round shape on the top. Some of them tend to be a little bit longer in this area, but this one is nice and globy-like. So this is why I went with this one. and just unite the petals so that it will one hide the light and two make that really nice closed rose bud that the rose in the movie is like okay guys so for the last part we had to take off the twisty part of the soda like today I'm terrible with words and it was a nightmare it was an actual pain in the butt the butt um if you see I tried to like burn it off then I tried to like dab it off then I actually ended up sewing it off so this was probably the hardest part of this whole project it took me like I don't know, 15 minutes to figure out that I wasn't going to be able to cut it or burn it or anything. It had to be sewn off. And now we're going to take our styrofoam ball and we're going to glue it to the top. I went over it with glue again and all through the back because I wanted it nice and sturdy. The final touch will be to grab some flowers and cut off some of the petals. Um, actually, I already did that. These are too big though, so I'm gonna have to resize them. And that's just my taste, but you can customize yours however you want. I'm 
think this other one is. And that gives it that wilted rose from the movie. Now you can do this different ways. You can actually um, carve out a circle to where you want the glass to sit. You can glue this, but knowing myself, I kind of like to play around with it. I probably want to move the leaves. I might not like the shape that they are today, so I may change it tomorrow. So I'm just going to let it sit. I'm just going to place it and have it displaying this way so that if I ever want to rearrange it, I can just do that easily. And there you have it. I think this is one of my favorite projects so far. I am so happy with how it came out. This would be like a great uh, night table decor. It'd be great as centerpieces. It'd be great as a gift for a Disney fan. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if you like this video and if you want to see more videos like this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button so that you can continue to be notified when we make more videos.